Welcome to Pokemon Scarlet. So, at long last, I finally have the game, in case you're wondering. The reason why it took so long is because I actually imported the Delta Pack from Japan. reason for that being is with the exchange rate, I actually got these for significantly less than a U.S. Double Pack, so... really didn't mind waiting, especially when you realize the games are not region locked or anything. Kind of curious if my Pokemon will be displayed as like Japanese region because of the cartridge, or if it'll know that I'm in North America. So this is me starting it up for the first time. I've put in the newest patch, so hopefully the thing doesn't crash too badly. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care. Let's see what hairstyles we got. So I actually have to click on them. So I know they wanted to try not to use any sort of gender in this game, which is why they say, pick your look, but you still have gendered pronouns, so... They kind of, uh, either didn't go far enough, or they missed something pretty badly. And these haircuts suck. I'll start with the d I'll take the default. So I'm just curious what all they allow you to change. The heck? <laughs> so I think we were... Brown. Eh. Kind of partial of number four there. So yeah, with that we've created our character. So, start making your predictions of what my starter is going to be. So there is an autosave feature, which is pretty important, because the early forms of this are very unstable, I'll put it that way. The game is not complete by any stretch of the imagination. So Naranja Academy, I think that's orange in Spanish, but I don't really know. Anyway, you learn from tradition, growing stronger and greater, so this is the one that's focused on the prehistoric stuff, and as a result, my paradox Pokemon will be prehistoric types. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater, it's time for you two to dive in the world of Pokémon. <laughs> Director Clavel, head of Naranja Academy. In case you're wondering, this is not voice acted at all. Full day is a sprawling region, but we're seen with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokémon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Pokémon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokémon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as Pokemon trainers, they have the Pokemon do battle growing alongside them. While our robust curriculum, of course, work helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you'll find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. We, the faculty and staff at Naranja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. That's Coridon. I 
I actually do want that electric bird that just flew by. Those are... Flamigas or something like that, I think they're called. Flamigo, that's what it's called. So don't get used to it, it only runs this smoothly when you're in the cutscene. Otherwise the game's supposed to be running in like 20 frames per second just to put the context for you. I have no idea what those are. Sadly, there's no way to change your costume beyond this, I believe. It's all going to be something school uniform based. So I was hoping to grab my hat and be on my way, but I guess we have some scenes first. Is there an auto run option? Good morning, hero. Already in your uniform and everything. Well, it is your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out that door. The school contacted me and said that we're s you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Hero, get the door, would you? Do forgive the intrusion. You are Master Hero, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director, and you came here in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire Academy, including any failures on its part. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come on this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? No need to trouble yourself. Hero, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room, finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Now, Mr. Clavel, you must simply join me for a cuppa, this way. How can I refuse such a kind offer? Here's where she submits the bribe to get me into the school. I know my record. Loose can doesn't even begin to describe it. Press X over the main menu, save option, find your adventure guide, yada yada. So I already opened this a moment ago, and just for the sake of it, let's drop a save and see how long it takes to even save manually. Because so I heard some of the other games could take a while just because of the sheer amount of data. Just look at you, all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. 
Gracious, how very careless of me. I had totally forgotten that I have something else for you, Master Hero, a most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Uh, we're throwing down already. I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Time to give him our first lesson in pugilism. Alright then, dear Pokémon, time to come out of your Pokéballs. We provide each student entering the Academy a Pokémon of their own. I ask you to choose which among these three you like to have as your partner. Sprigatito the Grass Cat. Fui Coco the Fire Croc. And Quaxley, the duckling. They're all very good company, why they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? So it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Hero, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now if you'll excuse me until next we meet. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they'll have lots to teach you. Before you go, I got a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. Rotom phone. Lays model smartphone, Rotom moves within it, can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map by pressing the Y button. It'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go. Have fun. So you can just walk... Th yeah, they don't have any sort of collision detection. Now, one of the things I heard is your movement speed in this game is supposed to be fairly slow, just because... The game can't render too far ahead, so... Did the cat get lost? So in case you're wondering, the grass cat becomes a dark type, the fire croc becomes a f ghost type, and the water duck becomes a fighting type. The duck can be pretty crazy from what I've heard. It hasn't been banned or anything just yet, but time will tell. The ones that were banned already were Fluttermane and I think Reverd. This is Kabu Poco. It's not much, it's a little pinch of community, but it's home. Yeah, we're finally able to run. The power of science is amazing. If you connect with phones, you can head on adventures together up to four of you at a time. Pokeball. So I wonder if we're going to need that to actually catch our starter. Are 
I use the use trainer? Not quite, Master Hero's yet to make his choice, you see. I do wonder which of the them he will choose as his first Pokemon. Okay, this might be your actual last chance to make predictions. Plainness, we haven't met, have we? Must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director, is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Kennedy's newest student, Master Hero. He will be attending as of today. So you're that kid who moved up in the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school uh, school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? No. Huh? What's wrong? Did I scare you off? Maybe I came on a little too strong. Miss Nimona is president of our student council and a champion rank trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon Battle. In fact, we should battle right here, now, you and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class. We have plenty of time to battle later. We get to know each other better, of course. We're going to be neighbors and classmates. Nice, we'll be able to battle all we want. On that note, Master Hero... Have you decided which of these Pokémon you would like to be your first partner? And, as you know, I am the Defender of the Green. That's Sprigatito, a grass-type Pokémon. can use its plant powers to suck up whatever water you throw at it. Would you like to go with our gra good grass-type Pokémon, Spurgatito, here? And, you know, whenever I have something feline... Look, he can levitate. Uh. Sparkatito seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Hero. This is your first Pokémon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokéball. Here, I can't believe I actually chose Sparkatito. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you to make such a good combo. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, D Director Clavel? But did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nomono? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. Now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Hero while he raises his own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Hero here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes. Since Hero chose Sprigatito, I'll go for this little one. Yes, I mean, you Quaxley, welcome to my team. Alright then. Now that we've chosen our Pokémon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokémon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It'll help you get to know your own Pokémon as well. Using the map, you can find information about the Paldea. Left stick to move the magnifying glass. Flying taxi can take you places that you visited before. So we have a Buizel outbreak, and I think this is a new Pokemon. Auto heal feature will automatically select items from your bag and use them to heal your Pokemon. To auto heal, hide the Pokemon you want from the main menu and press minus. Use the items in the following order. Potion, Fresh Water, Soda Pop, Super Potion, Lemonade, Moo Moo Milk, and Hyper Potion. Ah. Trying to see what its nature is. So this isn't actually that bad. They even start you off with an element move now. Huh. 
impish. So Sprigatito is a physical fighter. Remember moves. Uh. Okay, so you can read stuff here. Leafage, as you can see, is a physical type, so losing special attack can be a good thing. Uh, potion. Just wondering how you get those. So, B is crouching. How do you jump? Over here. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. It's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So you ready to battle me, hero? Perfecto. I'm so excited for this battle, I think I'll use... Miss Nimono. I trust you remember the Master Hero's holy inexperience in Pokemon battling. Good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. Guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Come on, here. Let's have us a fruitful battle. What'd you call me? You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Nimona. Send out Quaxley. I know this is your first Pokémon battle, so let's just have some fun. Super effective. Must've been studying up. Smart move. Grass is strong against water. So the first gym leader they steer you towards is a grass type. If you choose Quaxley, I think he gets a flying move fairly early, so you're super effective. If you choose the fire type, you're set. I don't know what they give the cat here, if it's a bug move or what. Not bad, neighbor. 300 Pokebucks. Look at you. Winning your first battle ever. Got even more potential than I thought. You're going to be a strong trainer for sure. Now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again. Just one more battle. Master Hero and Sprigatito are surely weary already from that last battle. Sorry, I kind of got caught up in all the excitement. Really sorry, Hero. Same to your Sprigatito, too. Don't worry about it. Alright, thanks, Hero. You two seem to be becoming fast friends, though you only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimono? I'm sure he can learn a great deal from a champion rank trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. That reminds me, since you're new to training Pokémon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. Got the Pokédex. The Pokédex will automatically register any Pokémon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokémon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we use ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokédexes. It's quite the age we live in now. Filling out a Pokédex by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would take. No, I suppose you can't. Yet, no matter how much the time may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokémon never does. That is a truly a timeless pleasure. And the more Pokémon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. You'll both work hard toward the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Nimona, I do have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Can I depend on you to see Master Hero to the Academy? You would be doing me quite the favor. Of course, leave it to me. Then I leave him in your capable hands. Alright, little ones, time you and I were on our way. So I wonder if we get to fight him with that Pokemon. I think it turns into Skeleturge at the end. Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with all my battling. Oh, right. 
Speaking of Pokedexes here, you probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come with me. No, thanks. Minus button for the Pokedex. You can pull it up on the Rotom phone anyway. Hero. I hear that Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. Although I just took her to school on the beach. So you've already managed to make a friend. And I read all I read about all the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after you at the school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend Nimona, it sounds like your new school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Now, you'll be staying in the school dorm, so I want you to promise me that you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. Sandwich or mom? So, the sandwiches are how you completely break the game, and we'll get into that as we go. It makes the curry system look like the joke it always was. <laughs> Maybe you better take these, too. Five cushions. Use them on that precious little partner of yours should it get hurt in battle. I know every day in your life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all, the good times and the hard times too. But if you want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Alright then, you two had better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. So are we going to get to see how bunk the leveling curve is here yet? Or Your mother's so nice, hero. I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos. This way. There we go. wonder if they're up there. Alright, this here is Poco Path. It's the path that leads to adventure for you and me. Out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Get too close to one, you'll have to battle, but you've got Sprigatito for that, right? And if you want to try to catch a Pokemon, you gotta use... a good old Pokeball. I've got tons, have a few. Five Pokeballs. Put them in the Pokeball pocket. That's a new one, po uh, Lechonk, I think. Well, look! Time for some learning by doing. Try battling this Lechonk hero. So this evolves into different things based off its gender. It's basically like... I think this is what they wanted Nidoran to be way back in Gen 1. You catch Pokemon by pressing the X and throwing the Pokeball. If you're having a hard time catching it, deal damage. This is still the same. It's how you approach the Pokemon that's different than you need to learn, because I play Arceus. Oh, he taunted me. K.O. Okay, now what? Nice, defeating Pokemon in battle helps Sprigatito grow and get stronger. Next time, try throwing a Pokeball when the Pokemon's right on the tip of being defeated. You have a decent chance of catching it then. I think it only needs to be like one-third of the way to get the optimal catch rate. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. Ten Pokeballs. I do have a mystery gift code to uh, get more. It's just we have to be able to mystery gift first. We get the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. I'm only really interested in catching the ones I'm interested in. Let's meet back up at the lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Must not make the joke. So if you're under the Pokemon, the battle begins. You can start a battle by looking towards the Pokemon, throwing one of your Pokeballs at by using ZR. Helps you find Pokemon in the trees or flying. And we got some Lechonk here. Got another Pokeball. 
Another potion. Uh, you can see shiny Pokemon if you actually do encounter one. They will be physically different. Revive, so they're giving that to us fairly early. Wonder if that's a warning. Antidote for poisons. I don't know if the spider there can poison you or not. I don't remember what Hoppip looks like if it's shiny. I don't think that was a shiny one, though. We saw them somewhere around here. What the heck is that? Scatterbug. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this at all. So it's probably just a pure bug type. Dark move. So yeah, this area would be a cakewalk if you had the fire croc. Paralyze heal. That new dog type. Another revive. Yeah, those look like normal hobbits. That's a Gen 2, I believe. Well, it'd have to be Gen 2 if I recognize it. <laughs> well, it's in the skip fluff and jump fluff or something like that, I think. Hey hero, you getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? Let me see, so far you caught... Whoa, what was that? Never heard that kind of cry before, it could be some strong Pokemon or something. I say we find whatever made a, that cry, let's take a look around, hero. Just be careful, there's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. I know your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. Ether. So those used to be extremely rare. Apparently that's not the case anymore. That's just a little chunk. Unfortunately, some of the new shinies don't really look that different. <laughs> so you have to really look to tell them apart. Look at the, uh, crowd. what's the, Houndars, I think they're called. It's a Gen 2, but I was never a favor of that one, because I just don't like fire Pokemon in general. Exception being Typhlosion. Any 
items around here? Oh well. Hey, buddy. Mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. But you can give it something to help perk it up. So what I'm getting from all this is that he's a harsh food critic. Any items? Oh well. In the grotto. So I guess I have to walk whenever I get close to him. Hero! There you are, Hero. You okay? You're not hurt, right? I imagine. Thank goodness, I was really worried. If you got hurt because I said we should go look for whoever made that cry, never mind that. Right now, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You just gotta find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. Yeah, if I got hurt, she'd make sure that no one ever found me again. What's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. It kinda looks like it seems like it's waiting for you. Does it want you to follow it? The rock had it coming. That was amazing. That Pokemon might be as strong as mine. Maybe stronger. I don't recognize what that is there. Diglett. Still a... Yeah, still a glass cannon, I'm afraid. So, there's... A new... Imitator of that here. It's a water type called Wiglet. And yes, its evolve form is Wugtrio.
Heads up some pretty rough and rowdy. I couldn't read all that. I'm glad you got your bodyguard. Watch your back. They're strong. So that was a revive. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh, it straight pulverized that rock. How powerful even is it? I wonder what the move was, man. I want to see it up close. Here, look out. Something's coming. Is it the Hound Doom? Behind you! It's behind you! Yep. Basically, with all those pups running around, it was only a matter of time until Mom showed up. Later. There's no way you could run from this opponent. Hound Doom use Crunch. are here to see mommy get beat up. Hey. Up here, quick. I'm going to go for a second, and I thought you were both goners. Well, what's wrong? Maybe you used to ball its power. What is this Pokémon anyway? It kinda looks like a Cyclozar, but I've never seen one quite like this before. Now, it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? Eh, uh, I'm not really a veterinarian, you know? You can't tell either, huh, Hero? Well, that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fellow look perfectly in sync facing down that Hound Doom. What? You didn't even tell what to do? Guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Good, looks like it perked up a little. Do you think this fellow was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Oh man, oh man, oh man, the more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. Or not. And here, this will let you teach Pokemon to move to help it battle stronger opponents. TM32 Swift. That's worthless to my cat, just so you know. <laughs> it never misses, but it's a special attack, and it's normal type. Think before you use it, though. TMs can only be used once. Yep, that's back. You've both been through enough for a minute. I think we can. We better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. So I just want to make sure I'm not missing any loot. Because there's something here. Asperberry. Is 
That's not how you get to the lighthouse. Just let me grab the shiny, dang it. Why, that little... What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you two, you can shove off. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the Humanities track, right? Aren't you the son of the Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? It doesn't matter who my mom is. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here. And what is with this form it's in? Found it at the bottom of a cliff. See, we heard the strange cry and we tried to investigate, but Hero fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kinda slumpy afterward. You should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form cried and takes in battle. That's its true form. Kuraidon, is this the Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? So real quick, if you don't speak Japanese, I believe Korai means past, because the alternative is Miraidon, which Mirai means future. I believe that's where their names come from, and Don being Dino, Dino, that type of thing. You can't go in the lab, it's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too. Do you? Kuraidon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Kuraidon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Okay. Look at you, quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling a lot of sorts, so I'm going to use this battle to blast these doldrums away. Challenge by Arvin. Send out Scovit. And we still have Spike. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth and I want it gone. So stick with Leafage for the stab purposes. We can 50% bonus for now. Use Tackle. That's its stab move. Bite, that is not a stab, so I take less damage. We're gonna bite it back. As you can see, Grass Kitty is really quick. <laughs> I think it's actually the fastest of the three starters here. I don't know if it's the fastest starter in the series, but I know it's kind of up there. Although Quaxley does have a speed buff move. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. Yep, we just took his lunch money. Oh, hero, that was awesome. Guess I wasn't even going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I only just caught. But if you really think you can take Crydon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. You obtain Crydon's Pokeball. Put the Pokeball in your key item pocket. Holds the mysterious Pokemon known as Crydon. A boy named Arvin gave it to you. So why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. What? Can you not hear me or something? Fine, by the way, but you better actually show up for school. Or fine, be that way, I think it said I was... What a weirdo. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's laying on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. But, oh right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view from our, our school.
no Ampharos up here. Look, Hero, that's Mezagoza. Mezagoza? I don't know how it's pronounced exactly. And the huge building with a Pokeball on it is our school. It's gonna be so great having you in the same class, Hero. But all the schoolwork... Don't think of it as schoolwork. Think of it as tons of chances to learn about Pokemon battling. Isn't it awesome you can see what you can see from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. And you know what's waiting for you all over those natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon! Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. By the way, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Let's make it a Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Vamos, come on. Man, she is bossy. Chesto Berry. So, you have to actually talk to the trainers to fight now. Pecha Berry. If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. And Lechonker showing up to watch. Youngster Elliot. Sent out Tarantula. I don't know if bug resists dark or not. Oh, he flinched the sucker. I have not heard good things about this Pokemon, which is why I'm not in any rush to pick it up. The one I'd be leaning towards would be the Masked Rider, but I already have a Dark type here, so. It's not on my list of pickups. Your Pokemon are strong, huh? You can see Spurgatito's shadow is messed up there. Is that an Azumarill? Yeah. X defense. We're gonna try to stick to the path a little while longer while we look for some of the guys I want to pick up. What was that? Awakening. I don't recognize you. What are you? Deerling. I don't know if that's normal or what. I guess the easy way to find out. Sap Sipper, no! That's actually a pretty cool move. So this would be handy to pick up if you want to have an ace to use against the first gym leader, the grass guy. Keep in mind, first is subjective. You can do the gyms in any order here because of its triple storyline. I might not have enough to finish it off here. Nope, crit. Ha ha ha. Suck on that. Dearling here. And a potion. Pair of Pokeballs. Well, at this point, I haven't seen any of the guys I want to pick up yet. I already told you one's the electric bird.
I don't even know what a shiny Lechonk would look like. Oh, it's Fido and Igglybuff. Ah, uh, is that Wooper? Yep, so it's a water poison type now. If it were still water ground, this leafage would just wreck the poor thing. Actually, is it ground poison? Since it's in the water, I think it's a water poison. Wooper slime. And scramble out of the water. That is going to annoy me like nothing else. <laughs> so I'm going to try fighting this kid with half my HP. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a cool secret. Dude, I can just step on you. We don't even have to get the Pokémon involved. He's a hero of the student. A chunk! Even though my Pokemon had full HP. Barely any prize money. That kid was gonna starve at lunch. Here's the secret. Pokemon starts to heal everything for free. You mean you already knew that? Ooh, Ralts. So I'm not seeing Trace. I assume this is synchronized then. Pokeball, go! So we got a Psychic Fairy for a little while. I don't know if I'm going to use it. There's something else I kind of want to get, but we'll see. Horns on its head provide a strong power that enables it to sense people's emotions. It's only one foot four. Ah, right, the new Pokedex. <laughs> I think the Igly buffs are normal fairies. Fido is a fairy dog. Oi, hero, over here. Or is that Oi? I don't really know. So the Pokemart's the blue, Poke Center's the red, and the TM Builder's the green. Here's the Poke Center. You can come here to take care of a lot of things related to Pokemon. I'll leave the explanations to the pros here. Happy you have service and welcome to the Poke Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left is the Pokemart counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept payment both in cash and in the LP, League Points that is. One LP is worth one Pokebuck. And this to my right is the Technical Machine Machine, TM Machine for short. It's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach your uh, moves to your Pokémon. You'll need to pay an LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokémon drop. LP comes in handy in both these machines and at stores. I've got a lot. Here, have some. 5,000, wow. Oh yeah, have some of these too. Lots of Pokémon materials from Nimona. At the Union Circle, you can connect with some trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. We will, thanks. Remember, had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know the sort of stuff for quizzes at school. But mnemonics help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure. But helps you remember that you can send out your lead Pokemon with the R button. That way you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items laying around or go battle on its own or stuff like that. So, sends the lead to Let's Go. This is important for evolving some guys, like the Tumbleweed Pokémon and the Dung Beetle. They actually have to walk around for a certain number of steps in a specific biome to evolve. 
When it's low on energy, it won't be able to go exploring on its own. Heal it up with a potion or other item. When it starts to battle, you won't need to give any orders. It can battle on its own with auto battles, meaning you can keep searching the area. I don't know how effective that is or efficient. Decide by the strength and types of the Pokemon in the battle, so keep that in mind when choosing which of your Pokemon to send out on its own. That's important for the Team Star stuff. Hello, welcome. You're... I didn't even see what the options were there because I sped through it. Hey, we have a green team forming. Spurgatino should all be better. Did you know? The Poké staff can give you uh, tips where to go. The register suggests destinations on the road and phone for you. Hope you'll come back for tidbits. Come see us whenever you need. Welcome to the Pokémon Center. Your Pokémon tired and need a rest. Huh. Welcome to the Pokémark. Can I help you with something? So potions went down in price. I think revives went up. <laughs> to make teams need to gather materials for Pokemon or League points, range will be able, will expand as you go. So we don't know what all we need to make. Charm, you can see Mud Slap, Protect, this is always a fun one. Fire Fang, that could be handy. Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, Low Kick, Struggle Bug, Psy Beam. So you can make Disarming Voice, it's a weak fairy move that apparently never misses. Air Cutter, Rest, Helping Hand. By the way, there's like 200 TMs now, just so you know. <laughs> huh, so we could teach Disarming Voice to Sprigatito, but I don't see the point. So let's to, uh, do a little bit of talking, and then I'll put a break in the video. This is Los Platos. We're happy to serve up. We're ha always happy to serve up a helping of hospitality when passing by. Would you like some ice cream? Eep. I don't know what humongo power means. Just like a buff to steal damage. And then if you notice, EXP point power, you can use some of these to help you do a lot of grinding very, very fast. But that's only for normal types, this is for water types. I don't know what Teensy power does, if it's supposed to nerf them. Item drops from bugs and so on, but ice cream's really expensive. She won't talk to us. Apparently we're not cool enough. I think you can only talk to people with arrows. I'm all topped up. Hey, Pelipper's here, and the sucker is huge, man. We could, f yeah, we could probably fit in that thing's mouth. Have you heard the Pelipper can carry people's letters and packages in its large bill? Fletchling, um, Talon Flames in the game, then. Nothing like relaxing on the grass. What to do next? My girl's so good at math. For mine, it's battle studies. We can't just barge in people's homes anymore. They took that feature out. People were joking that they didn't want to design interiors, even though you only make a few tile sets and you literally build everything from that. The uniform tells me you're a student at the academy. Make no mistake about it. You know you can have six Pokemon with you at a time, don't you? No need to skimp. I was hoping to go pick up the item for me, but <laughs> it had other plans. So I'm just going to grab the items and be on my way. Hopefully we'll find something that I can recruit soon. So that's Fletchling. Stored power. Fido. But yeah, once I get these, I'm just going to go back into town. EXP candy. That's... I don't know if that was introduced in Sword and Shield, but that was the first time I ever saw it. It wasn't a thing in the distant past, I guess. Yeah, we need 
need the hound to get up there. So yeah, this is where I'm going to put a break in the video. When we pick up next time, we will, uh... Well, you can see the new Tauros. So, it comes in three varieties. Pokemon the Head, you probably always be the first one sent out in battle. That's the fighting type, at least. The others are fighting water or fighting fire. I think they're version exclusive, so by being in Scarlet, we'd have the fire one. But I don't know that for certain. Go to school now, dear. Careful on the road. Remember to jot things down so you won't forget what you've accomplished. And with that really good advice, we're going to save and put a break in the video. When we pick up next time, we'll be hopefully finding something we can use. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.